Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And if things look different in this video, it's because my camera's color sensitivity was set to basically next to insane for the longest time. I was wondering because, you know, if you look at my lips in the last video I made, which was about, like the last video I made today, which was the vlog about what my ideal life would be about, my lips are super red, and I never figured out on my camera why. That was because the colors were set high. So what you are seeing right now, right, this is what everything is supposed to look like. Um, actually, I'm supposed to be a little... Yeah, it's, 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 that's, that tanness is fine. So anyways, I'll, I'll fi figure it out later. But anyways, in this video, we're going to talk about Kingdom Come Deliverance and a very big issue that is in the game that I just I can't deal with it. Man, it is... Oh my god, it is so ridiculously... Ugh, I... I... Let's just get to the point. Auto-saving in this game is crap. Saving is crap. And it has a good concept behind it. So, in case you don't know, Kingdom Come Deliverance... There, there was an update where you can save and quit, but I'll get to that in a second. So, the way you save in that game is via auto-saves or the Savior Snaps, which is a potion you take that saves your game. It's you know, pretty simple stuff, right? Uh, you can only hold three of these savior snaps. And I, if I'm not mistaken, you're only allowed to have one file, but the auto save makes it so you have five or something. I don't know exactly, but all I know is you only get three of these savior snap things. So I'm playing the game and I, I, I go through, let me explain this. I'm in this building that, um, I'm not going to spoil anything. You're kind of a prisoner in it. You have a daily schedule. You have to know how to read to, to do this, right? So you have a daily schedule. You guys know what part I'm talking about if you've done it before. Um, and I go through and I have to figure out one of these guys is a bad guy, right? Someone I have to like kill or something like that. And I go through about you know, hour, hour and a half, and I get kicked out. Well, the game, like, the last save was literally an hour and a half from when I got kicked out, the start of when I got in. And it really didn't need to be. Like, there was a point literally an hour in where it should have auto-saved. There are many points that the game should have auto-saved. So let me explain this. I had, you know... The game's autosaves, the reason why the saves are so far and few between is because they want you to be careful, okay? The devs said they want you to be careful so that all of your choices matter. And you know what? I agree. That is th making it so your choices matter and you can't keep saving f and restarting for the best answer is an amazing benefit to this game. This game would not be the same without it. But... With auto-saving, auto-saving doesn't happen correctly. Let me explain. So, you know, I have this, I get out of this prison type thing, right? So let me explain to you exactly what I do. I go to town. Um, I get my, my stuff back. I sell my stuff that I don't need because I realized I had stuff I didn't need. Repair stuff that I needed to repair. Go to a swamp. A in-engine cutscene happens, an in-game cutscene happens, and then I fast travel and get stopped up on the road and die. Okay? So, once again, get out, sell a bunch of crap. I didn't say this, but I also slept, went to the swamp, two cutscenes happened, went on the road, died. Nowhere in there did it auto-save. Did not auto-save when I sleep. Didn't autosave when the cutscenes happened, either of them. Didn't autosave after 30 minutes of bartering and selling crap. So I lost about 45 minutes of gameplay that really should have had at least two places it should have autosaved. Selling stuff, I get it. Doesn't necessarily need to autosave there. But whenever you sleep, the game should autosave. And whenever a cutscene like that where it goes into in-engine, not in-game, but in-engine, it should autosave, right? Because that quest, I completed it. I completed that quest. It should have saved right after I completed it. 
some on the forums and stuff, some people point out, look at Assassin's Creed. Every single time that you do something in a quest, it saves the game. Literally, you finish this part up, you saves the game. You finish this part up, saves the game. Finish this up, saves the game, right? Example, you talk to the guy, get the quest, save the game. Buy the item, save the quest, save the game. Give it to the other guy, save the game. So then you have these save your snaps. The problem with the save your snaps is you can't use them in combat. There are some battles that take place over four phases where you're always in combat and you can't drink the save your snaps. So you have to go through all this monotonous combat again. There's a point where there's four or five cutscenes I have to skip every time because I keep dying in this one combat because I'm not very good at combat. I'm, I suck at it. So then they, they add this implementation where you have a save on exit button. Okay? You save on exit, except you have an exit save. So how this works is you have a save on exit. Okay? Save on exit. And there is one save slot for it. What's stopping me from saving and exiting and then loading that save back up so I have a save? I, it just doesn't make sense to me. Okay? I have these weird potions that honestly are a great idea. These weird potions. But then I also have this one infinite save slot, but to save I also have to exit the game. Why not take the extra 5 to 10 minutes to just save, exit the game, and relaunch it? Like, it's so contradictory. What I think should happen is they... Get rid of the save potions, okay? They're a great idea. It just, they just don't work. And have one save slot where you have one auto save slot and one save slot. And the game, you, you save, and it says, okay, if you save, it overwrites your current save, right? So I, I save, I save my game, and, you know, I complete the quest, it auto. Every quest progress, it auto-saves it has to prevent progress loss. And I can save whenever I want, and I have one file. Okay, because here's another thing. On the Xbox, I have had 30 minutes to 45 minutes of progress lost because the auto-save doesn't want to auto-save, and my game crashed. On Xbox, it crashed. Like, I remember this. When the game came out in February, I loved the game so much. Then I got into the part... You know how in some RPG games, the middle part is really hard because the enemies get a lot tougher. They're, like, up here, and you're, like, down here in terms of levels. So you die a lot, right? Pretty normal for our RPGs to do that. I stopped playing this game because the autosave kept not saving. Just yesterday, I played, I think, 10 hours of this game. Okay? 10 hours and I counted how many hours of progress I lost because of places autosave could have saved me and it was seven so I played for 10 hours but only got three hours of in-game progress that's really bad I don't care how good your game is that's poor design that's like that, 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 why would I play a game that takes three hours, 10 hours to do three hours? And by the way, the reason why is because the story is brilliant. But if I have to sit there and tell myself that only 30% of my time is going to count, I'm not going to want to play it after I get to a good stopping point. That's what happened the first time. I got to a really good stopping point where I memorized all the characters, and four months later, I still knew all the characters. But I just said, you know what? It's not worth my time because it, the, the save system is just crap. Five updates later, it's still crap. That is the downfall of this game. If I were to ever review this game again, I'm not kidding you, I would give it a three or four out of five. Or three or four out of ten, sorry. With If you didn't include the save part, it would literally get a nine. But the saves ruin it so 
badly. It is unbelievable how bad the saves ruin this this game. You know, there's side quests I'll do. Like, uh, if you guys have ever done the Lord Capon side quest, uh, it's pretty cool of a quest. I never completed it, though, because I didn't have any save snaps. And every time I completed a thing, it did not autosave. That mission is like a half hour long, and I, every time I messed it up, I had to restart. Because I, I messed up that mission, I think, twice. And I still have, haven't gotten it completed. So, if Warhorse ever sees this video, know that you can make the game hardcore. You can make it so your choices matter. But the way you're doing it right now is the cost is so great to the player that on the Xbox where it crashes or the player who dies a lot, the cost is so great that it's not worth playing your game. Right? I'm going to sit down and I'm going to play it again after this video. Because I... I the story again I'm invested in the story and I also saved and exited at a point where I can continue on because I die a lot I'm at a part where I'm dying a lot but right before I die a lot the game's not saving 30 minutes there's a 30 minute segment that I just went through before recording and saved it's a warhorse there's a difference between making it hard and making it so we lose progress remember I want you to remember this. 10 hours of gameplay, only three of it what actually was in-game progress made. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Do you play Kingdom Come Deliverance? I still haven't completed the main story for obvious reasons, but I, I really want to get through it. Let me know what you think of the game in the comments below. What do you think about the save system? I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam it post of whatever I decide to make.